Union Home Minister Amit Shah arrived in Kolkata early on Saturday morning for a two-day visit to take stock of the BJP's affairs in West Bengal ahead of the assembly elections in the state next year. Shah is scheduled to address a public rally at Midnapur on Saturday where a number of TNC leaders are reportedly likely to join the BJP. A controversy erupted a day before his visit after placards with his photo above Rabindranath Tagore's were found all over Bolpur and Shantiniketan in Bengal's Birbhum district. The placards were removed after local residents and students of Viswabharati University raised objections. Drama unfolded in the Trinamool Congress late on Friday when MLA Jitendra Tiwari did a U-turn on tendering his resignation from the party within 24 hours. Tiwari reportedly said he'd made a mistake and urged the party leadership to not accept his resignation. The Pandabeshwar MLA had resigned as the chief of the Asansol Municipal Corporation on Thursday and quit the party hours later to follow rebel leader Suvendu Adhikari into the BJP. Reports quoted him saying that there were some misunderstandings. Whatever he said, it was absolutely wrong. Tiwari said he will personally meet Mamta Didi and seek her forgiveness. BJP Lok Sabha MP from Bhopal in Madhya Pradesh, Pragya Singh Thakur, will not be able to attend the court this weekend, citing health conditions. Pragya Singh Thakur, another accused in the 2008 Malegaon blast case, had been ordered to be physically present during the hearings by the trial court. At the beginning of December, the special NIA court had ordered all the seven accused to be physically present. However, only three showed up. Ram Janmabhoomi Tirth Shetra Trust General Secretary Champat Rai said on Friday that the Shiv Sena has given 1 crore rupees and Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath 11 lakh rupees for the construction of the Ram Temple in Ayodhya. He made the remark while elaborating on the fundraising drive that will be run in the country from January 15th to February 27th next year. He said Vishwa Hindu Parishad activists will go from door to door accompanied by venerated seers and others to collect funds. After the CBI filed a charge sheet against the four accused in the Hathras rape case, Congress leader Priyanka Gandhi Vadra hailed it as a win against the injustice. Taking to Twitter, Priyanka said, in spite of the victim being raped and forcefully cremated, threat to the family and the government protected injustice, truth has prevailed. CBI on Friday filed a charge sheet against the four upper caste men for raping a 19-year-old Dalit woman in Hathras, according to her last statement. Nearly every second woman in Bihar and every third in Andhra Pradesh is illiterate, finds the latest data from the 5th National Family Health Survey covering 22 states and union territories. The survey also found that in Assam, at least two in three women aged 15 to 49 are anemic, with anemia being far more prevalent in women than in men across the country. Talking about digital literacy, four out of five in Bihar and three out of four women in Telangana have never used the internet. Additionally, at least four in ten women in Karnataka and Bihar have experienced some form of spousal violence. The US added a second COVID-19 vaccine to its arsenal on Friday, boosting efforts to beat the coronavirus outbreak as the US regularly records more than 3,000 deaths a day. The much-needed doses are set to arrive on Monday after the Food and Drug Administration authorized an emergency rollout of the vaccine developed by Moderna Incorporated and the National Institutes of Health. The Moderna vaccine is very similar to the one from Pfizer Incorporated and Germany's BioNTech and is being dispensed to millions of healthcare workers and nursing home residents as the U.S. ramps up its biggest vaccination drive. U.S. Vice President received a COVID-19 vaccine shot live on television on Friday in a public display to boost national confidence in the drug. And building confidence in the vaccine is what brings us here this morning. I didn't feel a thing. Pence, his wife Karen, and the lead public health official in the country, Surgeon General Jerome Adams, were all given the Pfizer BioNTech vaccine in the annex to the White House. Filmmaker and producer Karan Johar has reportedly submitted his response to the notice issued by the Narcotics Control Bureau and said there were no drugs at the house party he hosted in 2019. According to PTI, the filmmaker submitted his reply through his lawyer maintaining that no drugs were consumed at the party that was attended by top Bollywood stars. Narcotics Control Bureau, which has been probing Bollywood's alleged drug connection, issued a notice to Karan Johar on Thursday, asking him to share details of the 2019 viral party video. 
Twitter has said it's redone its verification policy that's set to be enforced from January 20th, 2021. Under the new policy, even accounts without a bio or header image can be submitted for verification. Twitter has also said it will automatically start removing verified badges from inactive and incomplete accounts.